In this quick video, we're going to take a look at the main differences between Xcode and Visual Studio Code VS Code, so you can understand which one might be better suited for your development needs. Let's start with Xcode. If you're looking to develop applications for iOS, macOS, watchOS, or tvOS, Xcode is the ideal choice. It's Apple's official integrated development environment IDE, and it's fully integrated with Apple's developer tools and frameworks. If you're planning to work with Swift or Objective-C, Xcode provides everything you need within one package, from coding and debugging to interface design. This makes it the best option if you're building apps specifically for Apple's ecosystem, as everything is optimized for that environment. On the other hand, Visual Studio Code VS Code is a lightweight and highly customizable code editor. It's not limited to just one platform or language. So if you're working on projects across various ecosystems, such as web development, Android apps, or even cross-platform solutions, VS Code might be more suited to your needs. It supports a wide variety of programming languages, and its flexibility means you can tailor it to almost any development workflow. If you need an editor that works well for multi-platform projects or a broad range of development tasks, VS Code offers a lot of versatility. Now, when deciding which one to choose, it depends on your goals. If you are developing Apple-specific applications, Xcode is the obvious choice because of its deep integration with Apple's platforms and tools. However, if you are working on multi-platform projects or prefer a tool that can adapt to a variety of coding tasks, then VS Code could be the better fit. Each tool has its drawbacks, though. Xcode is Mac only, meaning you'll need a Mac to use it. It's also known to be resource intensive, especially on older hardware. So keep that in mind if you're working with a less powerful machine. Additionally, it's not as versatile for developing apps outside the Apple ecosystem. On the other hand, VS Code is a code editor, not a full-fledged ID. This means that while it's incredibly lightweight, it lacks some of the built-in tools you'd get in an ID, like advanced debugging or UI design tools for specific platforms. If you're working on Apple apps in particular, you'll need to install extensions or additional configurations to get the same level of support that Xcode provides out of the box. In conclusion, if you're focusing on Apple development, Xcode is the best tool for the job. But if you need a lightweight, customizable editor that works across multiple platforms and languages, VS Code might be the better choice. Ultimately, it comes down to the type of projects you're working on and the features you need from your development environment.